Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and I'm gonna be your host today, and we're gonna be taking your calls, but we have a lot of breaking news. Now, today is Monday, March 31st, 2014. If that date sounds familiar, it's probably because that's the Obamacare deadline. Remember, that was the deadline that was not going to move. They were really serious about it this time. Actually, it's kind of turning out to be kind of like Groundhog Day, isn't it? Well, there's a lot of news breaking about uh, Obamacare. And we've also got signs that the surveillance state is losing the info war. Yeah, we've got people bailing that ship like uh, uh, rats on a sinking ship. And Bilderberg has been announced. We're going to tell you where that's going to be. And there's, it's not just Bilderberg where people go to get their politicians instructed. Uh, we also have some people who, over the weekend, went to Vegas. Some Republican contenders who were trying to get some money from a very powerful lobbying group. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the history of that lobbying group. And we're going to talk about some of the amazing things that were said there. So <clears throat> as the elections are starting up... We're seeing the corruption starting up. And we have also some breaking news from the fellow who came up with the Gaia theory. Now, you may or may not be aware of what the Gaia theory is. It's essentially the idea, it was taken from a uh, Greek goddess that represented the Earth. It's the idea that the Earth is a living organism. And uh, we, essentially as humans, are some kind of a virus. And we need to be controlled or exterminated. And the person who came up with that guy theory and one of the big proponents of global warming has backtracked on both of those things, uh, Lovelock. And we're going to be talking about an article about that. Very interesting. And it really ties in with the Noah movie that came out this last weekend. We've also got a South Carolina uh, House of Representatives. Trey Gowdy is threatening to hold the IRS commissioner in contempt because they won't turn over emails. We've got secessionists in Europe that are turning out by the thousands. And we have a big riot that took place in Albuquerque, New Mexico yesterday. You may remember Alex showed the video of a homeless man who was shot in Albuquerque. A very, very disturbing video. A lot of people are disturbed by that. <clears throat> and they had riots this weekend. Actually, there were several hundred people that turned up. They demonstrated for over 10 hours, and it eventually got violent there. So we're going to show some footage of that. We're going to talk about what happened, and we're going to talk about what's going on behind the scenes at the Albuquerque Police Department, some of the things that you may or may not know about them. It's kind of a poster child for the shoot first, ask questions later mentality that's being fostered by the federal government in our local police departments. And so we're going to talk about that. I want to take some of your calls, see what you think is the reasonable thing to do to try to get control of our police departments. What do we do to stop this? The Albuquerque Police Department has a murder rate that's higher. They've, they've killed more people than New York City. And they've got a murder rate that's four times the national average. And of course, they've been paying out tens of millions of dollars in lawsuits. So what do we do as a community? How do we get control of the police when they're out of control, when they never are held accountable for what they do, no matter how egregious it is, when they can murder people on videotape and get away with it? Is it a solution to compensate the victims at the expense of the taxpayers, or is there maybe a better solution? I've got some ideas. I want to hear your ideas. We're going to be taking your calls at 800-259-9231. But I want to know what you think about what we can do to pull back these police that are not being held accountable. They've got unions that support them. They've got police chiefs who never see that they do anything wrong. How do we stop this? Or, like the liberals, do we just give them a monopoly on force? Barack Obama was in Belgium, and he's talking about the U.N. Arms Trade Treaty. We're going to have more news about that as well. A lot of breaking news and your calls coming up right after the break. So stay tuned.
introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics Advanced Media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides herbicides, chloramines, ammonia and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Welcome to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. I'll be your host today, taking your calls and going over news. Now, today is Monday, March 31st, 2014. That was the deadline for Obamacare. But like Groundhog Day, it seems to be repeating the same problems we've seen over and over again. We've got the website going down for six hours on the deadline morning. But, of course, they extended this deadline. We've seen that before, too, haven't we? We've seen over 30 times that Obama has unilaterally changed Obamacare. Evidently, it's kind of like every time uh, it starts to roll around with another deadline, it's kind of like he sees the shadow. Instead of a groundhog, he sees a shadow of voter disapproval, and uh, he extends it, you know, just like the groundhog uh, lets us know if we're going to have some more winter or not. That's the same sort of thing that's going on with Obama. And the New York Times points out that there's repercussions and reprieves at the health insurance enrollment deadline. Yeah, we got a lot of reprieves and repercussions. You know, the power to tax is the power to destroy. And when the Supreme Court said that it was a tax, and that's another interesting story, you know, where you see, I think it's the only time that the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court has written both the assenting decision and the dissenting decision. He wrote both of them because he changed his mind at the last minute. Remember, everybody was saying that it was going to lose. It was a 5-4 and it was going to be struck down as an illegal mandate. And at the very last minute, Chief Justice Roberts, who had written the opinion striking it down, 
changed his mind. Interesting. You know, this is before we learned about all the NSA spying, and a lot of us believe that they had something on him. I still believe that's the case. I mean, we've seen that with Petraeus and others. I still believe that they blackmailed him to write both sides of that opinion. But they call it a tax, and a tax is a power to destroy. And so when it gets to the point where Obama's friends are going to be affected by it, he gives them a reprieve. If it's something that concerns people and he sees the election coming up, uh, he gives them a reprieve as well because he doesn't want the people who don't really understand how this is going to destroy them. He wants a reprieve for that until after the election because it's going to be very damaging for them anyway. Now, one of the things in this article from the New York Times I thought was kind of interesting, they had some FAQs, uh, frequently asked questions, and one of them is, uh, what changes or delays might be expected in the coming years? <laughs> it says the experience of the last four years strongly suggests that there will be more surprises. Yeah, there definitely will. And another story here from, uh, this is CBS. It says on the eve of Obamacare deadline, the law remains a work in progress. Actually, you know, it's not a law. It's a series now of executive orders where Obama can just come in and change it however he wishes. But when a senator was asked about this on the Fox News program, this is Senator Angus King, an independent senator from Maine, who caucuses with the Democrats. He said, uh, when Chris Wallace asked him about Obamacare, he said, um, there is no such thing as Obamacare. There you go. Doesn't exist. So we passed it. We're finding out what's in it. But actually, according to him, it doesn't exist. And I guess in one sense, it really doesn't exist because there is no care being provided for anybody. This is nothing other than an insurance mandate. It is not health care. Health insurance is not the same as health care. Just the same as a school, a government school, any school, is not the same as education. We need to understand there's a difference between the way we do these things and sometimes they're counterproductive to the goals that we want. If we want health care, maybe the way to do it is not have the insurance companies write something that transfers wealth from Americans to the 1% to the health care industry. They're the ones who wrote this. Now, there's another article here from CBS, and it says that charges are likely to be dropped against volunteers who are signing people up for Obamacare. That's right. Chicago police detained a couple of men who were going door to door scamming elderly residents. Uh, it turns out it wasn't actually a scam. It was Obamacare they were selling. Well, actually, it was a scam, <laughs> but they're going to let them go. Uh, he said, I would have never thought that informing people about Obamacare would get me in handcuffs. Uh, I, I thought I was doing something positive for the community. And what they did was they charged them with soliciting an unlawful business. I, I think that's the best way to describe Obamacare I've ever seen, an unlawful business. I think these Obamacare for voters are soliciting an unlawful business. I think the Chicago police got it exactly right. That's right. These are a couple of guys who are community organizers. And then we have this breaking news about Obamacare in California. And this is on the Drudge Report. California Obamacare sends out voter registration cards that are already pre-marked Democrat. And see, it's simply about politics. It's not about health care. It's about controlling you, making you think you're going to get something at somebody else's expense. That's what it's always been about. That's why people sign up for it. But look at this story coming out of California. Play this report. Well, the couple who received this letter and voter registration card from Covered California has lived in La Mesa for years, and they've always been registered to vote Republican. Tonight, they're perplexed as to how this voter registration card, pre-marked Democrat, ended up in their mailbox. As you can see plain as day, the box next to the words Democratic Party is penned with a black X on this voter registration card. It was sent to a La Mesa couple who did not want their identity revealed. Sent from their health care provider, Covered California, the state-run agency that implements President Obama's Affordable Care Act. I mean, I'm an old guy, and I never would have noticed it, except I have an accountant that notices every dot and dash on a piece of paper as a wife. Covered California began mailing out voter sign-up cards to nearly 4 million enrollees last week after being threatened with a lawsuit by voting rights groups. But that doesn't explain this. It's a waste of money because there's an awful lot of people who are going to get this that are already registered and they don't need to. But it's, I can see that, but I can't see putting an X on the form before it's 
before it's given to me in a little bitty box that, that nobody's really going to notice. We shared what was sent with Covered California. Company spokeswoman Ann Gonzalez stated,